Now we're approaching the national collection of grapevines. It's Cold Hardy Grape Collection with about 1,400 accessions collected from around the world. So this, this vineyard has a lot of the traits that are useful for breeders, including disease resistance, cold tolerance, um, adaptability to a lot of harsh environments. And the goal is to maintain the genetic diversity for future generations. So for grape production, over 90% of the grapes that are grown are Vitus vinifera grapes that come from Europe. And these grapes are highly disease susceptible, things like powdery mildew, downy mildew, botrytis. Powdery mildew around the world is the most important uh, disease of grapes. It, it occurs anywhere where grapes are grown. Uh, in any climate. And what makes it so devastating is it, it not only reduces the yield of the grapes, but it also can cause significant damage to the fruit and reduce the quality of the grapes. And so if you're growing Vitus vinifera grapes, you're growing grapes that need to be sprayed with fungicides. As a result, the average U.S. grape grower spends about $50,000 a year just to manage this one disease, powdery mildew. So one of the goals in VitusGen is to develop disease-resistant varieties that don't require any fungicide applications. The way that we develop new varieties of grapes that are resistant to the powdery mildew is we look for disease resistance from wild species. And that resistance may very well come from one of the vines here in this vineyard. There are several things that make phenotyping or evaluating powdery mildew resistance very difficult for a grape breeder. The first is the genetic diversity of the fungus. Whether a vine looks resistant or looks susceptible is often highly dependent on the genetics of the fungus that's infecting it. And that's a random process. So from one year to the next, or one environment to the next, you may get different results. In addition to the ge genetic variability, there's spatial variability across the vineyard. Some locations in the vineyard may be very good for powdery mildew to develop, while other locations are not. And so what most breeders do is they have a four point, five point, or nine point scale, and they just try to approximate the overall resistance of the vine, how much powdery mildew there is on the vine. This is a very coarse kind of rating scale, and it's, it's okay for identifying resistance that's very black and white, but for identifying the grays and the subtleties of different resistances, uh, it's not very effective. So for that reason, we developed the, the Powdery Mildew Phenotyping Center here at Cornell and the USDA, where we have some of the world's experts in powdery mildew phenotyping receiving leaves from all the grape breeders across the U.S. and doing very highly controlled uh, trait analysis of powdery mildew. And we're able to quantify with high resolution uh, how resistant or susceptible a grapevine is. We're standing here at a vineyard location that houses three of the core Vitus Gen populations. And today we're out collecting leaves for our trade evaluation, looking at powdery mildew disease resistance. We try to harvest the fifth leaf. They are each labeled, so this way we can track individuals from the vineyard into the laboratory. So after the leaves are collected, then they are washed before they can be processed in the lab. Then we can go ahead and punch out leaf discs uh, from each of these leaves using a cork bore. The leaf discs are then placed uh, into a specific position in a Pyrex dish. And the reason why we track this position is so that we can track the identity of the sample from the vineyard uh, into the laboratory. After these are placed in the Pyrex dishes, then they're ready to be inoculated. Our job is to assess grape breeding populations that are part of the Vitus Gen project for resistance to powdery mildew. So today we're inoculating a population belonging to Bruce Reich, the grape breeder here at Cornell. So before we inoculate, we need to grow a lot of powdery mildew. In the field, powdery mildew is variable, so we want to have no variability. We want to have the exact same amount of powdery mildew on each individual. And we take a leaf that we made that is covered in powdery mildew. We wash the spores off the leaf into water. After we make the spore suspension, then we look at it under a microscope. And we do that for two reasons. One, we need to make sure that there are enough spores in the spore suspension that w when we collect the data, there'll be enough data that it will be meaningful. And then two, we also want to make sure that there are roughly the same amount of spores in our spore suspensions for different populations. 
Then we take the water and we put two drops of the spore water suspension on each leaf disc. So after the leaf discs are inoculated with powdery mildew, then they need to be assessed uh, to determine whether or not the leaf was resistant or susceptible to powdery mildew. And in order to do this, what we can do is take the leaf discs that have been inoculated with powdery mildew and look under a microscope and evaluate the developmental stage of the fungus. So based on these observations on the microscope, we're able to determine whether or not the individual leaf is susceptible or resistant to powdery mildew. Once we've evaluated the disease resistance in a, in a family of vines, and we know each vine, whether it's resistant, susceptible, and quantitatively exactly how susceptible it is, the next challenge is to identify DNA markers or genes closely associated with that resistance. We've developed in VitusGen a technology called genotyping by sequencing. It was first developed in maize, and we've adapted it to grapevine. Genotyping by sequencing is a high-resolution marker system where we look at about 50,000 points in a genome, and we identify which of those 50,000 points is associated with powdery mildew resistance. So that when a grape breeder grows out the next generation of a family, they can know right away whether the vine has the markers associated with resistance or not.